Can't wait for this. So what can you expect with augmented reality? When augmented reality actually hits the industrial world, it looks a little different. You know, we're not chasing around these little Pokemon trying to see what they're doing, right? We are actually taking data and making good decisions. So, you know, from a basic standpoint, you have a mobile app, and for this I have an iPad. You have QR codes, and they're mapped to assets that are commonly referred to as points of interest, okay? So in a typical manufacturing environment, much like around me here in our lab, you have motors, you have PLCs, you have HMIs, you have networks, you have all these sensors that are collecting data, and we're trying to access that data. But I want to start with the why. You know, why does augmented reality even matter? You know, you have live process data, you have documentation, you have videos, data entry, and even procedures at your fingertips. That's why it matters. You can get all that while you're on the plant floor. You don't have to go back to an operator room or to some office. You can access it while you're out there at your equipment. And then there's form functionality within augmented reality. It makes it even more efficient for, to give you ways to break down simple maintenance tasks and diagnose and create levels of awareness when issues start happening on the floor. So augmented reality can do that. If a machine breaks down, say this motor goes down. A typical process would be the motor goes down, I need to go back, you know, document it, go you know, back and forth. What if I could go out there when the motor went down and diagnose it right then, right there, and alert people what's happening? Well, that's the beauty of augmented reality. It's all right there, it's all data driven, it's all at your fingertips. And as people come in and out of your, of your organization, the skills gap is real, right? So what if you put in their hands the data of 20 years of knowledge? Augmented reality can do that. You walk up to this piece of equipment, you scan it, all your asset information is there, drawings, right? Guides, manuals, it's all at their fingertips. So let's get into the how a little bit on how this actually works. You need one mobile device, like I said, and then you can use stuff like uh, RealWare, the Microsoft Halo Lens, the Google Glasses. If you, if you have the money and you can do that kind of stuff, go for it. Makes it a lot simpler because you can free up your hands. But for most, most of the industries, start, just start with an iPad. That's a very simple way to get going, right? So you can jump right in with that. You'll need some infrastructure. You'll need a PLC, you need some HMI. You gotta have some data because you need some data being aggregated and then you'll put that into your augmented reality software. And that usually resi resides in a server. And today we're using the IQ Agent solution and a Windows 10 or a server 2012 and up and you're good to go. You know, the licenses are actually tied to the number of devices that you'll utilize. And once you purchase it, the beauty of this is it's yours. You know, you own the data and it's very secure because it's contained within an isolated network. So if you think about the, the IT struggles we have out there in the, in the world, right? You have this OT-IT convergence and things that are happening. You don't really have to worry about that with augmented reality because you're containing it all within the network. You're not really taking the data out of, out of it. So what do we do to help you with augmented reality? Well, we built a 24 page guide, 24 pages that walks you through how to deploy this solution. We explain hosting, licensing, installation, registration, how you actually configure the software, and how you create items like forms that will take your maintenance program to the next level. And I'm not gonna really go through that guide. What you'll find in this video, there's a link. Go download the guide. I promise you, it will make your life easier. We put it step by step to get you going, okay? Now, let's see how this actually works in our connected power lab. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up our IQ Agent AR. So now let's go detect some motion. All right, so now we're ready. So let's scan this QR code and see what happens. So we're scanning and there you have it. There's data for this fan, this fan motor, number one, five horsepower. Now, if we actually wanna see, I have to move it a little bit. If we wanna see some of these different values, you can go right here. Go boop. All right, so there's no, the motor's not running right now, so there's nothing on that. You can see the different voltages. You can see 
be different. The voltage average, the power, the status, what's faulted, things like that. Now you can also click on this I and boom. If I'm a technician, I can see right in front of me, there's a daily equipment form I could fill out. Maybe I just want to see what this motor is all about. Boom, right there, I have the data sheet off this motor at my fingertips. So I can quickly see, you know, important information associated to the exact device that I'm looking at. Or maybe I want to actually do a form. So I can click this. And that takes you into the forms. So here we are. We're into this form and we're ready to get started. It's the daily inspection sheet. We're going to begin. We're going to go right here. We're going to say it's today's date and time. We're going to capture that. We're going to put my name. Done. And we'll keep going. This is a five horsepower motor because we've already scanned that, that asset. That's the serial number off of it. Is this equipment operational? Maybe we say no, it's not operational. We can sign right here. Save that guy. Maybe we wanna take a picture of the motor and actually show him what's wrong. All right, so let's do that. So let's just say maybe it's the, the shaft's messed up. Boom. So we'll use that photo. Save, maybe we could even go in here and draw a picture around the problem area. Save that guy. Need to sign that we actually did that. And we're ready. Submit. Let's go back and let's look at the history. So there's my daily inspection form that I just submitted. And here it is. So my supervisor could see this real time with the software, see that I did it, my, my name, what the asset was, it was not operational. Here's the picture of the problem. I could even give more data there if I wanted to. And it's all right there in real time. So that's the beauty of, of the forms. Now, all right, so let's start this motor up. So we're gonna go to our, our primary HMI here. And we're gonna start this uh, C445. All right, so the motor's running. Now, let's go and look at the data from the, from the augmented reality and see what it's telling us. So, motor's running. All right, now you can see right here, all of a sudden we have data. We have a 2% current imbalance. You can see the different voltages. You can see that there's three, three amps that the motor's running at right now. Let's click on down a little bit further. You can see three amps there. Three amps on all phases. It's, it's consuming 66, it's now 61, 67 watts. It is running. So all that data is at our fingertips. Now, let's see if I wanna actually trend this data. I can go right here, boom. And you'll see, as, as time goes, goes on, it's trending. You can see right here. See that line building as the motor runs. So you could do live in the field trending of data as processes change and see it in the, in the moment, the impact of what, you know, of what the equipment is seeing as, as you change variables in your process. So that's all right there. You can actually take this guy and move this guy around. Uh, yeah, you can move that guy around just like that. So you can you know, kind of center it in your screen the way you want. And we're ready to stop looking at that guy. Let's take him off. Let's go back up to the top. And right here, you can see, we just want to watch our voltage average. You can see your voltage average, it'll stop populating over time. So there you go. So all the data is at your fingertips, real life, 
in the moment. All right. In summary, augmented reality has met the industrial world, and that is just freaking awesome if you ask me. You know, any manufacturer out there can utilize this technology. It's not expensive. It's not like there's this big barrier to get into it. You can jump in right now. It's not just for the high-end players. So start your augmented reality journey today. And this, our team at Eco, we're here to help you. We're here to help you walk you step by step to help your team get there and feel confident in the augmented reality solution and show you actual practical ways to make this make an impact on your plant floor. So connect with us directly. If you like this video, give it a like, share it out. If you have any questions, send them to us. We have experts on staff ready to support you and get you where you need to be with your augmented reality solution.